A locust invasion of biblical proportions has descended upon Israel after millions of the insects flew in from Egypt, darkening skies and threatening to destroy crops in the southern part of the country. Miriam Freund, the director of plant protection in the Israeli Agricultural Ministry, called it a medium-sized swarm and announced that her office had set up a hotline for farmers to call in if they see the insects approaching. Yesterday afternoon, one swarm of uh, locusts coming from the Sinai Desert landed in Israeli territory in the south near Kmehin. And uh, this morning, before they have uh, started the uh, way, we have uh, sprayed them in, with airplanes. So hopefully, the swarm, this swarm was destroyed. The insects covered nearly 2,000 acres of desert overnight, damaging potato farms close to the Egyptian border. Israel sprayed pesticides from the air and land to try and kill the locusts in the early morning before dew on their wings dried and they could again take off. With Passover only weeks away, it's hard for many not to think of the 10 biblical plagues that struck Egypt during the exodus of Israelite slaves, one of which was locusts. But to others, their invasion is a welcome culinary treat. One Orthodox Jewish family traveled hours from Tel Aviv to gather the insects for what they say is a tasty snack. We are collecting them in order to eat them. It's kosher, according to the Bible. I heard lots of stories from Yemen from my father, who is here collecting as well. They used to eat them, collect them, put them in the oven. It comes out like a chip. You can put barbecue sauce on them. Nowadays, it's like a barbecue chip, but then it was like a snack. Locusts, which wreak havoc by gnawing away at crops, last invaded southern Israel in 2004. They aren't expected to reach central Israel's major population centers due to a cold front that's expected to drive them away. Although Israelis have been advised to stay indoors and keep their windows closed.